Hey coach, super excited you found us on YouTube. Couple things, first of all, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's the first thing. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better. I know all of us wanna win more games, have more fun in less time. Let me help you. I've been through it all um, 30 plus years, lots of state championships. Let me help you do that. Um, all right, let's head off to the video. All right, welcome, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops, episode 44. 44 lucky 44 i know hey, we, are gonna, we gonna we gotta do a celebration on the 50th 50th we're gonna <laughs> give we're, we're gonna have a giveaway let's do a giveaway yeah we got a few you 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 know what i'm talking about that yeah, we, i do we can give away to and the people will like that those would be great that'll, yeah. that'll be perfect timing too because that will be in the spring spring that'll be perfect yeah well all right that's a late tease. winter early spring that's what they the call tease. Tease. there we go you gotta stay tease tuned the, for the giveaway the in the radio 50th world. episode of coaching youtube's podcast all right so today we're going to talk about picking an offense yeah it comes up a lot right in our facebook group about what offense should i run fill in the blank right in this situation or with this type of youth team or whatever it is right and um first off i'll do a plug i have a very popular video on this subject on my youtube channel so if you go to uh, youtube.com the at symbol basketball practice plans and it's the video called how to teach a youth offense in one hour well that's a good one yeah it's geared i have a whole i have a whole course on how to pick it yeah well you do have a com, yeah. so yeah exactly <laughs> if we're plugging and, yeah <laughs> plug away like you know and that's why we do these things yes. that's why the the resources for for coaches and uh to go and grab and, grab. and, and use because we've been in your shoes before Right. Yep. And we know the frustration. OK, I, I, do you remember your very first offense that you ran? And it, I'm, like, I'm going to assume it's different so than it is now. So what was the very first one you ran? Flex. I'll tell you mine. We ran flex. Oh, you did. OK, we did. Too complicated for youth. Well, depending on the youth Ooh. level, right? I six, seven, know. eight. Could you do six, seven, oh, eight? You could definitely run flex in six, seven, eight yeah very what about easy. younger where, where would you start flex and why did you choose flex um because i had a lot of great athletes that i had to slow down um good problem to have coach yeah it was a good problem to have at that point uh it's it's good as long as it's it's good it's 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 an easy continuity to teach i think there's mm -hmm. some other easy continuities to teach but um yeah, that I mean I, that's one of the reasons. I mean, it, it you know it's a three man game and a two man game, and that's what we hmm. were able to drill that and get pretty good at it. I think. Yeah, I did the stupid mistake when I my third grade team plays. Oh, I know. Right, right? I was a new coach, right at that time. I got to have uh, six plays, six quick hitters. Yeah, we had six quick hitters. I have to say though, they did. They did they had fun we had fun with them because we you know I, you know we whatever was the hot kind of meme at the time we would name the play after that so you heard me you know yelling out the name of whatever it, and one was um uh, uh the remember the the um oh my gosh i'm blanking the bird game that was pretty popular yeah um, Oh, I remember that. What was that called? Um, right now, all the coaches are listening to this or yelling. Are saying it out loud. That's Ninja not Candy bird. Crush. It's uh, oh, no. Oh, no, no. Flappy Bird. Flappy. flappy no. uh, fl uh, Crazy Birds. I, that was. I don't know. Movie. Anyway, put in the comments. Yeah. Put in the comments, especially yeah. if you're watching on YouTube, ah! so I can figure out. What we'll it we'll is. think about it right when we're done here. Huh. But anyway, um, so but what I would suggest is definitely continuity offense. Don't do plays. You got to teach them how to move and play in the game because. You can have your quick hitters as you go as you go up in age to get a quick basket, um, but you know at the third grade level it's all about spacing and movement, pass, cut, fill. Um, you know third and fourth I would say fifth grade. You know you know, you can teach like a motion right, um, a motion offense. Again that's just pass, cut, fill with some screening and um, you know we're teaching a basically read and react right now um, that is based off the principles that I actually created with this video that I talked about earlier, that's on the YouTube channel. Um, and uh, it works really, it works really well for us, right? How much though, you, you brought up a really good subject, which is 
you know, I hear a lot with my basketball practice plans. Oh, we run a motion, we run a five out, we run a four out one in. What's your thoughts on a four out one in uh, at the youth level? When do I start that? Do I even think about that? Is that, what are your, what do you think? I mean, I think, I mean, I mean, who's the, who's the one would be my first question. Yeah. And how are they going to be a big when they're in high school? Um, sometimes, you know, cause both parents are six, seven, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, I mean, I like to make them all guards until they hit late elementary, mm-hmm. um, teach them all how to ball hand, all how to shoot, how to post up, how to dribble drive, how to like, so I don't love that in the younger ages. I don't like to pigeon someone as a, um, you know, as a, uh, as a big per se or a five or a four, whatever we're calling it now. Um, I like to leave that open. So. What about this comes up a lot too, is I have, I need to quote unquote, well, I should, let me, let me say this positively. I have four players that are skilled or three players that are skilled um, two that are just not at where they should be in development for their, for that age. What would you, how would you think about structuring an offense? So say that again. I'm trying to process three, that. three skilled players and two that are not, but there's five, right? That have to be on the court. So three skilled, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of have to hide someone. Yeah, Maybe that's a little play. bit harder because they're older. Yeah. You could run like a horn set. You could do something where they're screening and stuff like that. But it's again, I would try to develop those two. Yeah. Um, that's a little bit of the issue is try to develop them i think um i know you got to hide them quote unquote yeah um i remember a lot of i would get a cutting i would get something where they're cutting to the basket because hopefully they can make a layup Mm -hmm. um so like maybe almost like a wheel set or a, a cutting off a high post set where they're curling um i think you can get good ball movement that way but it's tough, right? When you have um, the other, que- well, I, I would run a motion, just a simple motion. Um, and, you know, the just teaching them pass, cut, fill, um, teach them how to get open on the wings. Uh, I, you know, again, if I was looking back, I definitely, third grade, I won't worry about a, you know, set offense. I would teach them third and fourth grade, right? Teach them how to play, how to move. Uh, you, you, you know, maybe teach the basics of emotion because that's what it is. You're just moving, filling spots. And then as you move up in those grades, just to add a few more wrinkles to it. Screen after you cut, maybe, um, or, you know, screen away, screen on ball, back cuts, all of that other stuff that goes along with emotion. Often right. dribble at, right, back cut. Uh, uh, but I think spacing is number one. Right. You have to teach keeping, you know, so it's not a bunch ball. So let's dive into that. How do you teach spacing? That's a great question. Uh, you invent the thing that I thought you should have where it beeps. Where it's like, <laughs> That's where... right. I forgot about that. So for uh, people who don't remember that, right. What it, uh, do you want? Well, to say it's like that? a vest. And when you get too yeah. close, it starts flashing different yeah. colors and you set it to different. Anyway. Um, no, it's a. It, I think spacing is the hardest thing to teach for my guys. It's like, um, I know there's there's these, these bands out there that do it. I don't I don't love that. Um, mm-hmm. But I think the ones I, that you, are you talking about the ones where they're all tied together? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you yeah. seen that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's. Uh, I think it's a stop. You got to play red light, green light kind of thing. So you know, go and then you have them run. Then you go red light, and then you have them stop, and then you show okay. You you maybe have a street show them this is not far enough. Let's get farther. Yeah. Like where should you and you move the pieces and then you go green light and you let them play a little bit and then red light. So you kind of they have to process what that distance is because I don't think they really know what it is. Yeah. So what we did is we um, put numbers down on the floor one through five, and you have to go hit a number, right? And after you pass, so we actually had we had so I had five numbers on the outside. 
and one cone right underneath the basket. So you had to cut, touch the cone underneath the basket and fill the open spot opposite the ball. How we taught that, if you can Google this, it's a tiger passing drill called tiger passing. Uh, and that really worked well for us. Um, it just taught them how to pass, cut, and then fill. We also do um, a, and we, we we started as just, you know, five on, or actually started at three, three on zero, and then we go to five on zero, and then we do kind of, we do a five versus three, and then five versus four, and then five versus five, right? So they get the defensive, um, but, you know, what, what happens though at the youth level too is the not, not only the bunching together and they're all trying to get the ball and they're coming, you know, pulling all the defenders on the ball, but also the, um, uh, uh, what was, I lost my train of thought. So they got the bunching. Oh, but, and also the creep in, right. Where they're, right. you know, they don't fill, you know, where you want them to fill They're creeping in. They got the wings or, you know, you want the wings spread out and here they're, you know, inside the three point line. Right. So you just, you know, the space that you're working with gets constricted. So you really have to, I mean, again, like you said, we do still teaching spacing and right. The right spacing. Um, it gets complicated, but um, you know, I always say spacing is your offense. You can have spacing. You can have a great offense and great offensive movement. Um, we space because we have a great ball handler can finish at the rim too, right? And get by, she can get by her person. Um, uh, but anyway, the, yeah, the, the, so I, a couple things from an aid teaching aid perspective, you can buy them on, um, Amazon. They're just circles or foam circles, um, that stick to the ground, stick to a full, um, you know, the court. Yeah. The court. Um, yep. Um, and you know, you have every kid start on one of those. Uh, and then, you know, pass, cut, fill, and you got to fill an open spot, an open number, right? And you just drill that and keep on drilling that, especially at the youth third, fourth grade level. Um, you know, we don't, we don't necessarily score off of that right away either, or we'll say, you know, have them run a few cycles and say, okay, next person score, do a layup, right? Right. So they do a layup off of that. That's, that's one thing um, to teach spacing. Uh, somebody wants to invent Steve's idea of the life going <laughs> That would be TM, TM. I'm trademarking. Yeah, TM. trademark that. Yeah. Um, but and then the tiger passing drill. Look, you know, just Google that. Um, that was that was a good drill. And then go to go to my YouTube channel. Look at how to teach a youth motion offense in one. I really broke it down into simple terms um, because it was you know I understand you have one one practice. Right. right a week or maybe a two week. you really need to implement something quickly um those are a few few options to to uh think about and then go over to the facebook group and ask your questions and we will like this is a great time to do that i know some of you are coming near the end of your seasons but great time to go do it and then we'll uh yeah Bill and i will jump on and answer questions for but sure but again i think going back to the root of that question though was how do you know what what offense should I run and how to implement an offense? We kind of a little bit talked about the implementing, which is the spacing on the offense um, in some of these aids. But what offense, honestly, my opinion is five out. Just go five out motion offense. Um, you can run that against a zone as well, because I know some youth teams, you know, they'll come against a zone. We ran that actually five out motion offense against the zone in high school, and it worked right. great. Um versus trying to teach two different types of offense, a man-to-man -man offense and a zone offense, right? And you got two hours, just go one and and stick with it. Um, because the passing and cutting will will get you some looks. And at, at the youth level, them sticking to a zone strict, you know, like a true, you know, two, three zone for the entire possession, that doesn't happen either. So that zone breaks down. So so till next week coach all right coach good luck uh, out there coaches hey coach i uh, hope you're liking the video if you are kick down below um that would help us a ton hit the like button down below if you want to subscribe that'd be awesome hit the little bell up above you'll get a notification every time um one of our new videos goes live um also make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com enjoy <laughs>